I'm in. I'm in the third point. Loser's bracket now. Loser's bracket. I want to go for it. Uh, if you're in winner's bracket, oh, I have to play ahead on my second point. I still can't hear myself. Though. Alright, loser's bracket. Um. Alright, jugular versus obscure reference. There we go. Uh, Info versus legend. Alright, cool. There we go. Okay, Karma hey guys. We gotta figure it out. So. What was that back throw? Wait, Wait it's off throw. God, when? Have you heard of, you heard of Espeon before? No. Well, By the way, you should introduce yourself. Right now, uh, introduce, introduce yourself. Huh? Introduce yourself. Introduce myself? And yeah. No. <laughs> okay, so this is Milkman over here to my left, and I'm red, and we are... We can't see you, dude. Over. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Let's talk about the Let's actual match. Okay, okay, I will. Let's not be esports. So, so <laughs> as we commentate this match. So I really hate this matchup wow. okay. as Fox. I don't know why. I'm like, I feel like Pikachu is actually really underrated, and actually has a decent matchup versus Fox, honestly. Well, it's because Pikachu is kind of like a gimmicky fox, right? Like the Nair is kind of similar. But he has the approach so is kind of similar. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Gimps, though. Like you just get thrown off stage and you die because well, four tilt covers literally every single option. And if he goes high, you just react to it. I think that's why Pikachu's like Battlefield so much because Fox has real no sweet spot options. I think this. You notice think how this matchup always goes to this level? Like, I mean, always. in general. It'll always go to in this general, level. this is gonna be the state of most distracting, most neutral, I think. But. I mean, the, every other stage is bad, though, like, for either or. Like, FD, yeah. obviously, Fox doesn't right. want to go to FD. Dreamland, like, Pikachu doesn't want to go there. What else? Fountain? Fox doesn't want to go there. So it's like, of course, they're going to go Battlefield. I don't think Fountain would be that bad. Fountain's pretty bad. Uh, Axe takes people there. Yeah, but it's better than, you know... It's better than FD. I guess, yeah. but it's still not it's better than Battlefield. That was good. That's going to almost kill. Okay, so once... Oh, wow. Okay, we got that. Espeon needs to like DI a left or right when he's coming back. He can't just go straight down. I don't know if there's a fox on the top flat waiting there. He's obviously gonna hit you. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's hype. What? Huh? Did you see what I pointed to? No. I need to take a break. There we go. He went. We went away that time. Avoided the up air. I'd like to see some. Okay, yeah, let's just some more up smash. <laughs> up throw up here, and then, yeah, that's it. Ooh, get the taunt. What was the taunt? He didn't do anything cool way. Big Wen's feeling himself with an up throw up air. <laughs> Circa 2003, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's ba see, he banned Fountain. I don't know why he banned Fountain. Wow, he's I would have banned FD. Well, I mean, you gotta understand the level of, you know, if you're not like a top level player, you're probably gonna miss the chain grab at least sometimes, right? Thank you. You turn light up. Wait, so you must have banned Final. No, I don't want to turn my voice volume up. I want to turn, like, the... Yeah, I know. Your headphones. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's kind of... Oh, I see. It's kind of quiet. We're the, we're the worst commentators of all time. No, there's... That would be a... Scar and... Wow. <laughs> oh. Scope, but all right. Okay. Anyways, back to the match. Back to the unopinionated match. Yeah, our, uh, baby versus I don't know about the Ford Smash. So so not you guys, All he has to do is forward tilt. So Pikachu's going to want to stay on the ground as much as possible and just kind of fish for grabs. The stage is small enough that a back, back throw from pretty much anywhere other than the middle. Ooh. Is that off the stage. Yeah. That was that was that didn't actually, didn't, wasn't actually a real combo. He just kind of let it happen. I mean, there wasn't much he could have done. He could have DI'd it, he but, but I'm saying... Right. I don't know. Oh, I'm surprised the second one Was that a smash up and smash or what? So once he's just reading his Pikachu really hard, he's making every hit count for more than, yeah. Pikachu needs to grab more. He hasn't grabbed a single time, I don't think. Then again, Pikachu's grabs Grab are very, very good. It's hard to land, yeah. yes, but it's really rewarding to get it. You kill a fox, especially, if you can grab. If you get chased to roll. A lot of Pikachu do that immediately after the land with the up they'll just roll in right away. That's actually, that's actually a pretty common habit, you see. Espeon needs to also DI the up throws. I notice he's also been going straight up most of the time. That's, that's a hard thing to DI though, at first. That's so true, fast. it's like fast. The, the difference between when you get the grab and when you it's actually It's more about knowing when you're going to yeah, get grabbed yeah, rather than just react to it. See, like yeah, that. Like, yeah, I would have, exactly, yeah. well, but yeah, you just know that you're going to get grabbed there because Fox is going to go for the grabs. Nice. He's assuming that when he gets grabbed, that's it. He's got to take the punishment. Ooh, goes through the I think. 
Yeah, maybe? Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Okay. Thank Semantics. You. Thank you. Doesn't Semantics. really matter. Oh. Goes for the, Almost got goes him. For the gimp. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down B, down B. Oh, he knew it was coming. Oh, oh a little oh. late. He's interrupted by Wentz. I think he's nervous. Oh, wow. Really good stuff by Wentz, actually. I never see him do oh, that. Oh, my yet. gosh. Oh, oh the fountain was the four yeah. stock. The fountain was the four stock. Let's see if he can like make it happen. Side B. Now he's an A2. Ooh, he's gonna. Oh, I can't even walk that part of the right. The left, I mean. Okay, that's gonna do it, so. One's adapts pretty hard to him. Runs up. Runs up. The chant of We Them Boys from Wins every time. Superman 120 versus Immortal. Wilto versus Saber Skull. What is funny? All right. I can't hear myself or you. You got to put up. Yeah, go up to the mic like this. There you go. But that's gonna be really loud. It's not that loud. Uh, sure. I, I want to turn up the Nicholas. headphone volume, but I can't hear. Turn my headphone up really loud. I, I don't really know which. I don't know which one it is. It's probably the one that's not up that loud, right? I would. Okay. Or yours on the left side. Okay. Turn it up like really, really loud. Try like. There we go. Okay, that's good. I don't want to touch anything and like break it. All right, now I can hear you. Okay. And me. okay well, nice. Yeah, All right. Ten minutes later. <laughs> Wait, in we there. in there. <laughs> Who is playing next on stream? Who is it? Ooh, Aglet's playing. I didn't hear that. Aglet, newly ranked 20th in MDBA. Unofficially. Congratulations to him officially. Unofficially. Officially by, uh, by a panel of his peers. By, five, by five people. Yeah, which is a panel, by the way, definition <laughs> of. Thank you. Unlegitimate. Not based off tournament um, records, but okay. Completely actually. And, and actually, more, more uh, consistently uh, voted on by you know, five person people. person rather than a mathematical system, which... Is updated once, you know, every couple. You know, whenever someone feels like it. You know, when yeah. you know, actually based off of tournament results, but yeah, okay. But you know, I wish I could see the chat. Who really wants? I don't to really know what to talk about right you, now. You want to do your phone? No, well, I do, but. Can you? Who's in there? Yeah, Chillin is not here. He had to do something with and his family. Neither is Chu so actually. Yeah, surprisingly yeah. enough, Chu or Chillin so, are not here. I don't know. Yeah. It's like DP. DP went back to the West Coast, oh, yeah. so we're missing DP. The last uh, Clarendon was super stacked. stacked and and this one is still stacked, but slightly. It's up. not extremely stacked. Last time, though, the top, like, 10, 10 was yeah, ridiculous here. And yeah. then there were less entrants, so there was, like, 70-something. But yeah, this time, yeah. there's 93 entrants. So, one, players, so that's one, cool, though. One more en one, they broke the record for most entrants by one person. So whoever that one person was, hype. Because yeah. last time, it was... <laughs> This, the time before last time was 92, which was the highest, but this time is 93. I really thought they got over 100 one time, but I guess no, not. No, they not never yet. got over but 100. This is, yeah, this is a pretty crowded, crowded room. That's yeah, kind of ridiculous. I think they have to expand soon, or Aglet, this is not going to tweeting anything. about his match. Esports. I wonder who this guy plays. I do not know who he is. I'm going to guess Unfamiliar. he plays Falco. Based off nothing. Based off nothing. Okay. That's why it's a guess. I would guess Fox because okay, Fox cool. is the well, most well, popular character. That's actually a much better Don't guess than mine. <laughs> yes, it is. You're probably right though, just because you're red. That doesn't mean anything. What is that? What do you mean by that? I don't know. You don't know. Oh, I was right. No. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, Peach did us. We were both wrong. <laughs> I didn't even know Adela plays Peach. He doesn't? <laughs> Question mark. I'm pretty sure he does. I don't actually. think he, he does. Plays, he has a second I don't think he does. I mean, it's it's okay. I don't know why he's playing Peach though. Maybe he just um, doesn't like the Peach Puff match. Peach Puff matchup. Except I'm pretty sure Puff really wins that matchup. But okay. Aglet. Please. What? Like, if you play Jigs, why would you not want to go Jigs against the Peach rather than Peach? Jigs? I don't know. Jigs does well versus Peach. He just wants to be rude. And just play a second. Wow. I, I'm about to hop off this mic right quick. <laughs> Okay, so strike to dream. Please don't strike to dreamland. Please do not strike to dreamland. Please strike to. Please, please. Oh my, oh my, no, no. Okay, yes. Okay. It's I mean, still it's bad. still terrible. But we're gonna go with it. Okay, so we have Aglet. Aglet is the. Uh, is he the regular Peach? Uh, is Aglet Aglet's neutral? Yeah, he's neutral. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Aglet is definitely neutral. So I've never seen Aglet play anyone except for Jigglypuff ever. I mean, they're kind of essentially the same character. No, no, they're really not. That's okay. That's okay. We'll, we take this. 
So yeah, this is pretty much a Jigs ditto. Oh, dot eyes. Oh, no regrab on the dot Oh, eyes. unfortunate. Wow. Okay, shakes his head. He accidentally canceled his float instead of double jumping. What? I don't know anything about this matchup, so... I don't really... Not on this stage, at least. The platforms, it becomes a lot different, but... Apparently, this, this version battle is, like, turn up pulling, dash attack baiting, and... Fairing and whoever, back and forth in the air, whoever right? jumps first loses. Yeah, is that, does that, that sound? Does that sound pretty? Okay, so that's it. Yeah. And getting up slow off the ledge is like asking to get nared. Peach doesn't have any options from the ledge though. So yeah, see, like yeah. Whoever, yeah. I know Doll. Doll used to tell me about Peach Ditto. Doll's the the master of Peach Ditto. People don't know, but anyways, yeah, uh, he says that this this stage is like the best for Peach Ditto. Uh, in Maybe terms of like fun and just I in terms know. of fun, there you <laughs> like it's the least lame, yeah, it's okay. most legit for Peach Ditto. That's what he says. At least. I'm surprised that kill. I don't think he died properly. Just Peach Ditto relies so much on trades and like and like uh, low percent stuff. So if you get caught in dance down smash on a platform, like on battlefield or something like that, like it can go really badly. For you I really guess. Quickly. Cause you know like think about like when we played Nintendo to Peach Ditto. Like as soon as he was two stocks behind, as long as you're playing really well and just taking your trades, it's really really hard to make any sort of advance on stock. Agalid is has a super strong oh, this lead. Is, wow, this is a 45 second. I've never seen a piece of it. No, it's, it's set to nine minutes. Oh, time okay. Time, so I'm pretty sure. New rule set hype. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice narrow shield. Float cancel there. I feel like once you get behind a piece of this far, it's like no coming back because you just you just trade you for days. Apparently, Peach is up smash. Has uh, the same strength as a fox up smash when you sweet spot yeah, it with the yeah, shoulder. I didn't know you that. You can do that as like an anti air too when fox tries to. Oh, oh yeah, I learned this from Lan from DOH. In peace to those, if you shield a dash attack, you can up smash out of shield and it will sweet spot. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh Smash got in this chat, yo. So Smash got's coming tomorrow. Smash I think, got so. said hi, red and milk man. Hi Smash got. Hi Smash got. <laughs> Why aren't you here? Oh yeah, you're in UBA. He's Still coming. No he's chance. coming tomorrow though. Oh, shell shock. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Shell shock hype. But right now oh, we have goodness. a 50% down smash. Please. It's fully crouch cancel. Please don't. Do not ever hold down versus Peach while you are getting down smash. You can crouch cancel versus Peach, but it's really scary. You can even let go halfway through and you'll pop. Yeah, you can do that. But because like crouch canceling her dash attack or like her. Some of her aerials is okay sometimes. Really situational, but generally... Just on the ground. Yeah, but, yeah, but other generally... Than that, yeah, it's, it's a good way to die at 130. It's not worth it. It's a good way to take, like, 70%. Let's see. Honestly, though, like... So that's death, like, that's death. Yeah, it is. Oh, catch. Oh, that was yeah. a really good catch, actually. I'm pretty sure that was actually a true combo. He DI'd the turn up a little bit away and got caught right in that bottom part of the down smash where it actually sucks you into the top left and took about 50. I'd like to see some more like, I don't some know. Some more turn up approaches? Yeah, more turn ups. Actually, I haven't seen Armada play Peach to this in a really long time. That's because no one bothers. The last yeah. time I think I saw Armada play Peach to was against Trifacia, that Peach from He's really, really good, and he took a game. I'm pretty sure. Peach Ditto's are like a, in their own art form for for specific types of people who like you know matchups that involve a lot of thinking. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of lameness. Yeah, well, I mean, I was trying to be nice, but that's okay. So that should not. Okay, wow. Decides to just kind of float into the blast zone. I think I'm not really sure what happened there. Okay, oh. Aglin decided. What part of these peaches need to stop holding down? You can't really approach with the aerials, I feel like. Like, back here at least, where first speed. Oh no, Agla suicides. It's a tight game now. Agla speech is something, let me tell you. I've not seen this before. It's okay. He's, he's putting in work right now. I guess this is a secondary? Yeah, this, it is a secondary. If you play jigs, it kind of makes sense, I guess. Dal told me that down air and peach to is really good when they're it is. when you're when they're on the ground and you're floating above them you can spam down air on yep, their shield and there's nothing they can yep, do really. And you can like you can start to dare before you float into them and then if they get caught by any hits of the down air you just nair out of it. Yeah. That's like the Mike G. Shout out to Mike G. I know he's not watching. Oh my that, god, that, okay, was that was godlike. Really that was actually godlike. That, uh, 
I would have made. That was actually disgusting. Yeah, I would have made him like a bad person, and he would have lived. But that up air was like actually really good. He was at 137 after. Uh, yeah, well, up air was like for sure like yeah. you're gonna die. Sweet spot so. up air is actually underrated, but especially kind of hard. They were already high up in the air yeah. anyway. So. Nice turn up air. There you go. It's a turn up aerial. So they're really oh, good. I think that was an accident. Hard read. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be a down throw yeah. or something. Nice spacing on that fair. Nice. At this point, Aglet literally just has to kind of trade as he goes, and he should be able to take this. Yeah. Nice read on the roll. That's the thing about being behind the beach, it is. Yeah, it's. Once you get behind, it's you, you should pretty much start pulling turnups. You can't really get right. each other. You gotta, you gotta pull turnups left and right. Well, that was really good spacing on the nair. Is that a stitch? I think it is. Yes, it is. Is that why he's standing in place like that? Yes. Oh, oh. catch it. Oh, oh no. Z grab. Okay. Unfortunate. <laughs> See, it's a, lot, a lot of pieces do that. They get a stitch and all of a sudden their playstyle completely changed. You gotta be subtle. He was trying to. You gotta be <laughs> subtle about it. Yeah, he, he was, was trying, trying to stand on the left side. He's trying to BM him. Yeah. Nice. Tyrain and David S. Matthew and Matthew. Tyrain and David S.